Okay, my is now. dazzle us with your exert. Well, I suppose it. Well, this has been a. Yes. Your responses lead me to believe that you have yes! an unusually violent reaction to dentistry. You should see him at the podiatrist. It could be symptomatic of artificial yes. personality Part disorder. Yes, part two's done. Good. I right. better mark this on One the chart. One more to go. You have two of the symptoms listed on this form. Am I deranged? I don't want to alarm you, but probably. Probably. Can I have your hat when they commit you? Sure, little buddy. All right, let's try the dream analysis. Can you really learn anything from my grotesque, nonsensical dreams? Oh, absolutely. They reveal your subconscious. It's like peeling an onion. Yow. Now just relax and try to remember your dream. Okay. I don't want to be peeled like an onion. My dreams always start in the office, but this time things were different. Mmm. Yes, I can picture it. Tell me what happened. The fans. Not. So the thing that's different is this person right here. Who's this? I realized there was someone else in the room with me. Oh, you had a special guest. Who was it? Hmm. It was me. <laughs> it was me. Hmm. I think you represent yourself i didn't even realize that was possible <laughs> oh sure any crazy thing's possible in psychoanalysis tell me did the other you say or do anything unexpected no the usual hi sam how are you i'm fine sam and yourself not too shabby fascinating where does your mind come up with this stuff <laughs> oh my god i realized there was someone else in the room with me oh who was your special guest it was you. Me? My, my, my. Oh, I represent your mother. You do? Of course. The feelings of trust, of safety. Besides, I figure the old hag's got to be in there somewhere. That's psychotherapy 101. <laughs> Insightful. <laughs> Tell me, in your dream, was oh I doing God. anything queer? You did say something pretty queer. You ungrateful pup. I went through three weeks of labor for you. Wow, it is your mother. I was right, as I usually am. I realized there was someone else in the room with me. Oh, who was your special guest? It was Max. Ah, yes, your imaginary friend. Excuse me, I'm standing right next to you, lady. In your dream, was Max doing anything unusual? Well, he was saying the Pledge of Allegiance to the tune of Camptown Races. I pledge allegiance to my gun, doo-da, doo-da. <laughs> but that's not unusual. <laughs> that's not unusual. <laughs> oh I noticed God. a plaque above the closet bearing Jesse James's severed hand. <laughs> well, only in a dream, huh? Um, well, maybe. I realized there was someone else in the room with me. Oh, who was oh, your special Oh, now guest? we play the video. It was Bosco from the inconvenience store. Ah, yes. You go to him when you need things. Yes, he represents your father. Bosco's my daddy? Uh, symbolically, symbolically. yes. Literally, I sure hope not. In your dream, was Bosco doing anything peculiar? He did say something rather unexpected. I may not show it much, but I love you, Sam. Now go wash my car. Yes, that's just what I expected. <laughs> okay, so can we play the television? Not a thing was on TV. Suggesting ah. you feel television is an intellectual wasteland, devoid of any and all worthwhile content. No, that can't be right. Hmm. I prepared to leap out of the window. Oh, was that the end of your dream? No, wait, I forgot something. Do continue then. I noticed something odd on the dartboard. Oh, something you're shooting for. What was your target? It was a psychotherapy diploma. Interesting. Do you secretly want to become a therapist? No, I publicly want to become a therapist. <laughs> oh, you kidder. 
Please, try to be serious. <laughs> I know I'm something probably peculiar do. in the water cooler. Ah, the water cooler, a source of refreshment. What was in it? There was a grubby little rat floating in there. You subconsciously find rats refreshing? Well, I guess that explains why you moved into this neighborhood. <laughs> Hanging on the coat rack was a necktie in the shape of a noose. Oh my, Sam, I'm not sure how to put this, but I think you may need a therapist. Oh wait, I forgot I am one. Yes. Yes. I noticed something strange growing on my plant. Yes, the plant represents a source of sustenance. What was on it? The plant was bare, but for a single decaying leaf. How sad. Well, good thing it's just a dream. I remembered that I'd just gotten something from the bakery. Oh, sounds like you and your special guest there were having a little celebration. What did you get? It was a wedding cake, ripe for the toppling. A wedding cake? <laughs> you want to marry her? Uh, well, let me just say, I hope you two will be very happy together. <laughs> Uh, thanks. <laughs> well, I want to see what everyone else is going to say now for that. In the room with oh my god. Oh, who was your special guest? <laughs> it was you. Mm. Oh crap. Or was it really your mother? I realized there was someone else in the room with me. Oh, who was your special guest? It was Max. Ah, yes, your imaginary friend. I didn't notice anything unusual there. Then why do you mention it? I don't know. Interesting. Nothing unusual there. <laughs> oh I God. noticed something weird sticking out of the rat hole. Mm, the rats are pests. They represent something bothersome. Tell me, what was in the hole? It was that staple office knickknack, the clacking balls. Not unlike the ones on your desk. Oh, do you not like the balls? No, Sybil, I don't like the balls. Well. I noticed what something it weird sticking out of the rat hole. Something bothersome. What was it? Actually, there was nothing in the rat hole. Well, nothing bothers you. It's always good when you're not smart enough to know you should be bothered. Huh. I noticed okay. something weird sticking So I'm still to be bothered by old age, but something elders getting old. Some. What was it? It was a poor little fish, gasping for air, and yet totally unharmed, in case you're a member of an animal cruelty organization. Hmm, a fish out of water. Perhaps you're bothered by feelings that you don't belong. Maybe so. But trust me, Sam, you belong in therapy. <laughs> you belong here at least. Okay, so there's got to be some kind of setup I need for all of this. Basically. I noticed something bizarre in the closet. Oh, yes. Yes, we put things in the closet we want to hide away. Things we're ashamed of. Please, Sam, what's in your closet? Hmm. A hidden video camera. Hmm. I think someone may be secretly ashamed of his voyeurism. Nope, I'm proud. I noticed something bizarre in the closet. Ah, something you're ashamed of. What was it? A parking meter. A parking meter? Why would you possibly be ashamed of that? Well, we did run over the meter in front of our building once or twice. Or every single time we ever parked there. <laughs> I noticed something bizarre in the closet. Oh ah, something you're ashamed of. What's the last one? Lottery tickets. A whole stack of lottery tickets. Interesting. Perhaps you feel you don't really earn your money. Don't worry, lady. We get paid to crack skulls. And by that measure, we ought to be millionaires. Definitely millionaires. I noticed what if it's nothing? Ah. As a matter of fact, the closet was bare. Totally shameless, then. Can't say I'm surprised. Okay, there's gotta be something that I can do. That, that, that. Wait, nothing okay. unusual there. I 
turned to leave the office. Oh, was that the end of your dream? No, wait, no. I forgot something. Oh, do continue then. There's like a certain setup I you have to do. I just got something new from the bakery. For a celebration, perhaps? It was an overly birthday. frosted birthday cake. Wait a second. The birthday cake, your friend, you subconsciously want to see your peers get older. I could have told you that. This is a definite symptom of artificial there personality go. There disorder. There we go. Yes, I mean, I hope it's not serious. I'd better mark this on your chart. Perfect. Wow, it must be artificial personality disorder. You've got all the signs. I bet I can get a paper out of this. Best ship me off to some sort of home for former child stars, then. I've signed this admissions form, but you'll have to arrange your own transportation. I'm about to be really busy publishing the details of your case. Since you're crazy, can I drive? Jumping vehicular homicide, no. All right, let's go. We're done. We've got our slip of paper. We're ready to go and get ourselves indoctrinated into this, um... Weird group of miscreant people who I probably shouldn't associate with, but we'll associate with them anyways. We will go visit the Child Star place, whatever it is. Where are we going, Sam? All right. Back at <sighs> Lady Culture's home for former child stars. Oh, okay. All right, let's do it. All right, so let's put our admission form in. Where are we going, Sam? Whoops, nope, 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 no nope, way. nope. Never mind. There, please. Thank you. Into the form reader. Okay, that wasn't creepy at all. Not in the least bit. Whee! Looks like a shifty character to me. Don't they all? All right, let's do this. Heavily medicated has-beens. Come on, little buddy. There's justice to be served. Can we get ice cream afterwards? Justice makes me hungry. This reminds me of that place where Aunt Trudy lives, with the medicine smell and the rubber sheets and the enormous mute Indian. Sounds like a million laughs. Yeah, mostly after medication time. Where is everybody? That was kind of weird. Pulchritude above doubts. This is culture's clubhouse. Jumping Juan Cheney in a Poffo Frightway. Brady Culture, I presume. You know who I am? Wow! Evil plans really do work. Don't get too excited, Stretch Pants. The freelance police are here. Yes, actually. I've been waiting for you. Really? Next time, try leaving the front door open. Save us all some grief. <laughs> Allow me to explain. <laughs> uh oh, I think we just triggered a soliloquy. Good thing I have the attention span of a pint of yak butter. <laughs> I never wanted much. Just to be universally loved, that's all. And to be number one in the TV ratings for the 1971 fall season. But no, those worthless hacks, the soda puppies, with their matching shirts and their cute little jingles, uh -oh. they came on opposite me and stole my audience. I was never offered another role. And now you two vigilantes won't even let a poor, down-on-his-luck actor mass hypnotize the entire viewing public to become his worshipful fans forever. How cruel. Is it over? I think so. So? Whoops. Since you've ruined the beautiful irony of having my arch rivals run my promotional campaign, I'm afraid you'll just have to take their places. Uh -oh. In your dreams, culture! No, my friends. In yours. Hey, that tickles! Become video delivery <laughs> man. <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. What? What's happening? Oh no! Oh no! What, what are you doing? I don't know. I... You were in on it all along. I told you it was a conspiracy. I told you, but... 